What is up, everybody? It is time. Actually, it is way overdue for me to do a type set update. In case you missed it, I've been filling up my uh, Dansko 7070 United States type set. You can't read the whole word. Um, and I have one, two, three, four coins here today. Two of them are upgrades, and two of them are hole fillers. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First page right here. Well, we only have one hole. So, that's this classic head. 1808 to 1814. Now, I will warn you before I slide this out. This coin is very ugly. Very, 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 very polished. But it's going to fill the hole. So, <clears throat> here we go. Nineteen, nineteen, eighteen, twelve. You can still see full liberty. Does have a little hole punched in the top. It is super, super duper polished. I don't know why somebody would do this, but it is indeed an eighteen twelve large scent. So it's gonna fill a hole for how long? I don't know. But it's in there for now. It looks hideous compared to these other naturally toned brown scents. But uh, it's there. I think. Let me see what this is. Yeah, the next one up is going to be an update. And nothing on this page. It's going to be on this page. Right in this area right here. Standing Liberty Quarter. We got pretty nice one it's 1924 I like it I like it a lot so let's break it out of its flip I can give you guys a little bit closer look I'll bring the scope up and we'll take a little better look at it underneath the scope this has some pretty awesome Tony on it so hopefully the scope will pick this up move the scope under We'll take a look at this. Get focused. You can see a little bit of the chest plate st still there yet. The shield has some some uh, life left in it. There's the 1924. It's out of Philadelphia. No mint mark there. Looks pretty nice. I like this. Toning doesn't show up crazy well, but let's take a look at the reverse. United States of America. There's the eagle. We got some feathers going on there. Got a full head on the eagle. All the stars. Quarter dollar. Right there. I like it. I like it a lot. Move this guy out of the way. And we'll slide her in her home. Pop out this quarter. Put this one in. This one, I don't even know if there's a full date on there, but there we go. We are upgraded. This one even have a date on it. I moved the scope out of the way. Uh, 1926, but it's barely there. So, got rid of that one. Next up, we got some half dollars to talk about. We'll do the upgrade first. Eighteen seventy one half dollars seated liberty. Right there. It's gonna replace this slick get Slick one right here. What year was this one? 1875. No mint mark on that one. No mint mark on this one either. We can show this one in a scope too, I suppose. I'm going to scope back up. A little bit of life left in the shield. Liberty, 1871.
pretty sure this one has been cleaned. Um, because it's pretty bright white and shiny for uh, the wear on it. There is some wear. So, there you go. Gonna fill a hole though. Gonna fill a hole and it looks way better than that slick one. So, we got that. Next up. Next up. We got another hole on this page that needs filling. <clears throat> Which would be the cap bust 1836 to 39 reeded edge. Let's take a guess what's in this here envelope. 1837 reeded edge cap bust half dollar. I think it actually shows it better on the big big camera than I could uh pretty sure this one's been clean too but pretty good detail for a cap bust I'm happy with that and that one's gonna find a home right there now we'll do a quick flip through show off my book a little bit get a little elevation here The cents, the half dimes, the nickels, and the dimes. 20 cent piece, quarters, half dollars. And we got some more half dollars. Commemoratives. The one hole left in the book. 1866 to 73. Seat of Liberty. Silver dollar. We'll get there eventually. That uh, trade dollar needs an upgrade too. And the final page. And that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this update. We will see you all next time. Hopefully when we fill this book. Nubs out.